Today's video, we're gonna be looking at how you can align and sort of adjust the layout of the objects in your canvas using Canva. So I've got this little design open here in Canva, which I've just sort of played with a little bit to get things looking a certain way. Now, there's actually a few objects on here and uh, I'm just moving a few things into position because I want to sort of show you that when you're designing something, alignment is it's pretty important. So what happens is, say we've got this object here, this object there, and we think, oh, I want this to align to the left of this text so it all lines up. Obviously, we'd have it in the one text box, but maybe if we got this and we want this to be perfectly in alignment or centered with something, we, can, we want to be able to do that. So what we're going to do is when we're actually playing with some of these items, we can multiple select. So I'm going to actually show you how you're going to align objects to each other by multiple selection. And we go up here to position, and we can align to the left. And now when you click off, you'll see those objects are aligned to the left. But one thing that happens also is you can click on something like this text, go to align again, so position. If I click left, it'll align it to the left of the page. So you get little options like that, so it can be handy as well. One thing to keep in mind also is that quite often it will simply snap into place and you'll see a little pink line just vaguely underneath there next to win and you can just move things around and align them that way. But there are there's more to that than just simply aligning things left or right. If I get this basketball and I want this text to align with it, I can pop it there and maybe I feel like it's not in the right position. Once again, I shift, go to these dots, go to position and I can just align center, center horizontally and middle vertically. So now I have both of these objects aligned perfectly. But what if I want this to be in the center of the page? So I click this and that, hold down shift, click both items, and I can now group that item into one, so it's like one object now. Now I go back into position, which because I'm zoomed in, I'm clicking the three dots here, it should just be up there. I go position, center, and now it's in the exact center of the page. If I move it down a bit and off, you'll notice that before I didn't have to center it vertically, but now I can actually do that one, two, and get it in there. Now this also causes an issue that this text is hidden behind here, so I can actually hold shift, move these back. But there might be, an, uh, maybe I don't want this T to be behind the ball, maybe I want it to be in front of the ball. So moving objects in front or behind one another can be difficult if you don't know how to do it either. So now if I actually click on this object and even hold down shift, click this one as well, I can go to the exact same position options here. I can either move it backward a step or forward a step, or I can move it right to the front or right to the back. So I can move this right to the front if I want, and now it's in front of the ball. And of course, if I've got an issue where I want this box somewhere, maybe the box is covering win so maybe if i have this issue here maybe i want win to be cut off for whatever reason i can go to three steps position i can move backward it's still not there and i can just continue to hit backward until i find it shows up where i want it to so because maybe i don't want it to go all the way to the back so you can simply hold this up and just click until it's there and now we're at the back forward forward back back and you can align things behind objects as well so it's pretty cool how you can do that. But there are also some other options. Say I want to actually have this ball at the top. I want to have this text here and that there. And for some reason, I look at that and I think it doesn't look right. The win is too close to fight. Or uh, maybe I've got one line here. Maybe it's just fight. Maybe I can go through. And just remove that space. So what if I've got these three separate lines of text here? Just going to get rid of this. I duplicate this. I'm going to just shrink this down. So you can see these objects are not spaced evenly. And I also want the spacing to be even between that and the ball. If I select three objects or more like this and go back into that position tab, I can space these evenly, so vertically, and you'll now see the spacing is even from the center of each object like that. But there's also some other options such as, if I bring this out, move this down just to throw it off, 
I can go in to position and even just hit tidy up and it creates a tidier version again and sort of fixes things up that way. So you can actually go through left, right align, center things to each other to the actual page and then also space things objects evenly apart. This is really good if you have say a series of photos or something as well. So let's say I delete this and I pop this photo in here which is actually the image on the right, this photo as well and then this Santa photo just to be different which is a pro photo. I'm just going to remove that put this boxer in here. I can go through and have a similar effect to create a more even grid with these photos. So once again position space vertically and things are more vertically spaced highlight position align to the left or i can simply tidy up and center so that way you get a better approach that way so that's just a very basic quick little tip aligning objects and once again if i decide this photo is to be larger in the middle once again, it'll snap into place most of the time anyway, but if I want this to sit over the top of the boxing image, I can right click, or I can go to position, but you can actually right click all the time too, and bring to the front. So that way you have an object sitting over the front, and you have this cool effect like that. So I just want to touch on that, just some basic things to learn how to align and sort of shuffle objects around in Canva. So uh, I hope you found that video useful, quick, easy one for you today. Uh, if you did, please consider giving the video a like and also leave a comment below with any questions you might have and uh, if I can answer them, I will. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to speak to you again soon.